<laughs> Nico, welcome back to Chicagoland. Oh, this is home. It's good to be here. This is home. You're a yeah. new parent. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, making the movie and then screening it after being a parent. Tell me about those emotions. Oh, I didn't even know where to start. Uh, I mean, my partner and I were deep in our fertility journey as I got the script sent to me. And it was just one of those life imitating art moments. You get the pages and you're seeing so much of yourself in not just the character, but the entire world that Andy and Danny had created. And I got on a call with them and I just knew that I had to play this role. Um, you know, at home in our fertility journey, I was very much so holding down the fort, the rock of the situation. And then I got on this movie and I was able to just like let out all of my emotionality in ways that I, I could never have dreamt of. It's something that people I don't think realize is that when a couple wants to either adopt, foster, foster to adopt, go through the surrogacy process, the first time may not work out and that can divide a couple, especially if you don't are not on the same page as far as how many times you want to go through this. For sure, and there's nothing really to prepare you for it. There is, there's no one way or right way to bring a child into the world or into your family and the best piece of advice that I got is that it sucks until one day it doesn't yeah and that is absolutely truth we're here at the uh, at the music box your was what your first job or one of your first jobs was just on the streets uh, at the Mercury Theater next door um, just a few buildings down uh, I was in a show called over the tavern for years and yeah I mean like as a kid this was my old stomping ground when, when was the last time you were back? Do you come back to the Chicago land at your area? Yeah, I, I, I still have a lot of family here. I'm here a few times a year. Okay. A lot of my immediate family all moved, um, and I'm in New York. Uh, so not as much as I would like to, but this will always be home. This will always be home. The Manichine family, I feel like this is a wonderful movie for someone who's about to start the journey, in the journey, or maybe those friends who maybe don't understand what this journey is like for their for their friends. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. This is a story that has never really been told, at least in this capacity. And it's so important, you know, especially now with what's happening in this country and how divided we all are. This is a story about uh, creating life at a time when life seems the most fragile. I've told Andy, uh, the director of the movie, I was like, this, I don't want it to stop now. I need prequels, I need sequels, oh, I need good. universe because there's so much more to these characters because they made them so, him and Danny made them so beautifully. Totally, I agree. It could be a TV show. I mean, the, the, the possibilities are endless. The possibilities are endless. Nico, thank you so much for your time today. Thanks for being here.